guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day i hope your week has been off to an amazing start and i hope you all are in good health so today you guys we're going to be refreshing my dining room space i have some new home decor pieces and i'm also want to just decorate it and set my table for the spring holiday season and also for easter dinner so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you all um enjoyed it. i hope it brings you some home decor inspiration so yeah everything that i have a link for i'll have it linked down in the description box so make sure you check that out always because usually if i have a link to it i always link it down below but if i don't have a link to it then it means that it probably came from one of those stores that is not able to be linked but yeah but today's video is sponsored by a company called her nest so her nest is an online furniture retailer who sells furniture and home decor we really wanted to change out my dining room chairs i really want something a little bit more modern a little bit more glam that fits my home and my space Okay, you guys, so this spring, I really wanted to refresh my dining room space by changing out my dining room chairs. I really wanted some dining room chairs that was more modern, more sleek, and then I also wanted some that would be comfortable, but also give me a high-end look. So working with her nest, it actually checked off all the boxes for me because not only are these chairs gorgeous, but they also are very affordable as well. So I love that everything was packaged really well. So as you can see here, I'm unboxing. They actually came with two sets of chairs per box. So you do have to put the base together Together and then but just only have like a few screws that actually screw in and that was it it's not hard to put these chairs together at all i really love how sturdy the base of the chairs is as well as the top of the chairs now the chairs are um, on the firmer side so if you want something a little bit more soft then these chairs may not be for you because they are on the for the firm side for me i usually use my dining room space to mainly entertain so we're not usually sitting here to eat our meals all the time so these chairs work out perfect for me i just love the velvet detail on it because i just love velvet i just think it gives your home a nice luxe look so i absolutely love it so like you, you can see here the base comes separate and then I have the top over there on the side that you have to put together. Now, I did go ahead and um, use some Scotch Guard to go ahead and spray down my chairs and make sure everything is um, to keep them kind of stain resistant because they are like a light ivory color. And then the base is gold. Now, I think these chairs do come in different colors. I think it comes in a blue color as well. So they do have some other options if you don't want um, the lighter fabric. They do have some darker choices as well. So I'll have the link and everything listed down in the description box below for her nest. Don't forget to use my discount code Trina15 to save 15% off of your order. And thank you again to Ernest for sponsoring today's video. Okay, you guys, so this is what the chairs look like all put together. Like I said, the process was real simple. There's only like maybe four screws that you need to connect the chairs together. I love the barrel detail of the back of the chairs, the shape, because it kind of gives you some curves and can give you a nice contemporary look with a modern vibe. So I absolutely love it. And I think it fits my dining room table, my dining room table perfectly. Okay, you guys, so let's continue on with today's video. So I thought I'd give you guys an overview of my space. So the dining room is not that very big. It does open to my living room. So I have an open floor plan house. My house is pretty much open all over. So I try to make all of my spaces cohesive and make everything flow together because you can see each area from the other space so this is an overview of my dining room I always get check questions on my dining room table this table is from wayfair it is real wood i love the white oak detail on it because it just gives me a nice modern vibe and fits my space really well so if i could find a link to this table i'll definitely have it linked down in the description box below now I do want to go ahead and refresh my credenza area over here. I'm going to make some changes to this wall. I'm going to change out the artwork and I'm also going to take down that picture light and then I'm just going to um, restyle everything over here. Thank you. 
Okay, you guys, so I really wanted to dress my dining room table for spring. It's been a long time since I actually did a table scape with you all on the channel. So I thought it'd be fun just to get the table all styled up for spring. So these are some of the pieces that I'm gonna be using. When you're trying to dress your table, you always wanna incorporate high end with low end. You also wanna make sure you try to use everything that you already have on hand. A lot of this stuff I already had, like the florals, the dishes and everything, and even some of those placemats and napkin holders. Try to incorporate things that you already own. And they also kind of mix in some very inexpensive pieces as well. It'll also give you a budget-friendly look and also give you a curated look at the same time. So some of these items I'll go through as I'm decorating the table and show you or tell you where everything is from. But most of the things came from Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and then also from Walmart. So yeah. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and start decorating and styling our spring tablescape. So I really wanted to add in a runner to my table. I found this nice faux jute one at um, Hobby Lobby. It was very inexpensive. I think it was like $15.99. They do come with a natural look. Um, and then they also come with the black color. So since my table and everything in my house is so ivory, I love adding black. I just think it gives a nice elegant look and then it also gives me a contrast, especially when you decorate with neutrals. I just feel like if you add that contrast in there, it just makes your space pop even more. So I'm gonna add that in there and then I'm also gonna add in two centerpieces. So for my centerpieces, I actually created two floral arrangements. And then I used some bowls that I actually purchased from Home Goods recently. These bowls are really nice because after I'm done with the spring look, I can use these bowls for home decor and various other things. So they kind of give me dual purpose. So the bottom has this really nice ivory or beige kind of look to it. And then the top has that black detail. So it fits into my aesthetics of my home really nicely. All of the florals in this arrangement came from various stores. I had these for many years. I got them from a combination of Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Um, I think even some of them are from Prestige Botanical from years ago. And I just use them to create a nice centerpiece. I think when you're decorating your tablescape, you can never go wrong with adding some candlesticks. So I got these from Target a while ago. These are actually nice. I actually think these come in a set of three. So they work really well. And then I'm going to add in some really nice spiral to uh, taper candles that I got from Hobby Lobby to these candle holders. Okay, you guys, so now that our centerpiece is all done, let's go ahead and set our place setting. So we're gonna start off by adding some placemats. These are very inexpensive placemats. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I think they were like $2.49 each. I think there was some type of sale that they were having on for their home decor. So I got these in black, like a charcoal black and gray, which I absolutely love because I think it fits the space really well. They also had other colors available too. So since I have a little bit of gold going on in my dining room, not only in my centerpiece, but also on my chairs, I'm gonna add in these mesh ones. I had these from Target for many years, and I only got four of them because I ended up losing the other two, but I'm just gonna layer them on top of the Hobby Lobby placemat on four of the table setting. I think it'll just kind of add a little bit more um, glam to the table, and then also it'll kind of give me a nice uh, layered look as well. So 
So next we're gonna add in our chargers. I love these chargers because these chargers look high end. They look very modern. And again, they're on sale at Hobby Lobby for $2.49. You cannot beat that price. Really affordable. So you always, like I said, that goes back to mixing in that high end with that low end. So you get you things like placemats and chargers, you don't have to spend a lot of whole, you don't have to spend a lot of money on there, but then you want to spend a little bit extra on your dishes and all that stuff because you want those to last because you're gonna be using them quite frequently. For the dinnerware, I'm using my everyday plates that I already had on hand. These I purchased from the at-home store a few years ago, so I can't remember exactly how much they cost, but I'm quite sure they still have these plates available at the at-home store because usually they keep a lot of their home decor and dishes and all that stuff quite frequently throughout the store. So I'm quite sure these are still available, but I'm gonna be using the plates and I'm also gonna be using the bowls because the bowl is almost shaped, shaped like a, it all the bowl can also be like a, a salad bowl or pasta bowl so i'm going to use the, that in the combination with the plates Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our stemware. So I found these flutes from Hobby Lobby as well. These are like a melamine uh, material. They are, they look like glass, but they're not glass. They're actually plastic. I don't know about y'all, but I have grown people in my house that always break all of my wine glasses, all of my flutes. I have like, I have so many that I've bought over the past and people just keeps breaking them. So I decided to add these melamine or plastic looking ones on here just so that they was, can stop breaking up my glasses. So <laughs> that's what we're going to add for this Easter's tablescape. But I love it because they look high end. If I didn't tell you they were plastic, you probably couldn't even tell that they were plastic, but I absolutely love Love the look of these now we're gonna go ahead and add in our silverware so I'm gonna add in some gold silverware on four of the table settings and then the other two on the end I'm gonna add in some silver so I do want to say if you do buy gold silverware you have to hand wash those because they do tend to fade in the dishwasher just FYI if you want to invest in some of those pieces some of those pieces do tarnish in the dishwasher so you have to hand wash them I don't know about you guys, but I always forget which side the fork and the knives go on when I'm setting my formal table skates. So I always have to kind of refer back to a template. So I do know the forks goes to the left and then your spoon and knife always goes to the right, just in case anybody else is wondering as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our napkin rings and our napkins. So for my napkin rings, I had these for many years as well. These came from Z Gallery and these are kind of like a beaded detail to it, really pretty and almost have like a charcoal kind of gray effect to it. So I thought that looked really nice on my place setting today. 
And then for my napkins, I'm just using some really inexpensive napkins that I got from Walmart. They have like this linen kind of feel to it. Really nice. And I think these were, like I said, very inexpensive. They were like maybe $5 and some change for four. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to mix those in with those Z Gallery um, napkin rings. Okay, you guys, so this is how my spring 2024 tablescape has turned out. I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with this look, you guys. So I think this is the first time I actually use these color choices on my dining room table, and I absolutely love it. So now that we have our table set all ready and ready to go for spring, we're going to go ahead and style the credenza, which is on the opposite side of the wall in my dining room area. So everything kind of flows together. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and style this side of the dining room as well. So my credenza came from Home Marie. I absolutely love it. And then my artwork came from Home Goods. Most of the artwork in my house either came from Home Goods or either Lamps Plus. I absolutely love the look. I'm going to add in this large vase that I got from um, Pottery Barn. It actually is a statement piece. I love it. It just has really nice texture and it just gives a really elevated look to the space. I'm going to next add in these floral picks that I got from, um, I think I got these from Michaels or either Hobby Lobby. I can't remember, but I did share these in my entryway um, spring deck away with me a few weeks back. But I love these because they just have some, they almost like some greenery. They has, have the buds on the branches just are just now starting to bud out, which I absolutely love that look. And since we already have florals going on on the dining room table, I just thought some branches with some little buds on it would look really nice and kind of give the space a nice balance. Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me
Okay, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope this video brought you guys some home decor inspiration. I hope you guys got something out of it. A lot of these things that I added to the tablescape are very budget friendly. So just with a little bit of thought, you can put anything together. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, please give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps on my channel a lot. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. Become part of our decorating family. To all of my beautiful subscribers, I'll see y'all. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.